Today we're going to take you all the way to Hawaii to make this beautiful and colorful poke bowl. Poke is pronounced poke, which means to cut crosswise into pieces. It is thought that this dish was originally prepared by native Polynesians. Essentially it was a raw fish salad that became part of the island lifestyle. They would serve it with raw fish, sea salt, seaweed and kandana. And it was until years later when Westerners traveled to Hawaii that the recipe evolved into what we know poke balls to be. American chef Adam Choi is believed to have introduced poke balls in the United States in the late 90s. He launched the famous Hawaii Poke Ball Contest in 1981, which is still held annually, inspiring chefs from all over the world. For this recipe we're going to use raw chunks of tuna in our bowl. However, you can use a variety of different seafoods if you prefer, such as salmon, scallops, octopus or whichever seafood you fancy really. On the nutritional side of things, poke is considered a healthy meal as packed with lean proteins, good fats and loaded with veggies. In recent years, poke bowls have exploded across the globe. They are posted across social media and looked as being a trend for bloggers. I'm getting a little bit hungry now, let's start prepping this beautiful bowl, shall we? Okay, now we can start making our marinades. Let's start off by popping the tuna in a bowl. And then we're gonna go in with the chopped ginger. Sprinkle that on top. Look at this. Next, soy sauce. Couple of tablespoons. And sesame oil. There you go. And then we give it a good mix. Okay, now our marinade is ready. We can pop it in the fridge for at least half an hour, but you can go up to four, eight hours, and then we'll come back. Okay, the tuna is marinated in the fridge, and we can start assembling the dish. Let's start off by popping the tuna in the center of the bowl. Just like that. Beautiful, next. It's up to your imagination really. I mean, I've got a handful of ingredients here. You can choose whatever you fancy. So next I'm gonna go in with the cucumber. I'm gonna place the cucumber on one side. Here. Next I'm gonna go in with the radish, place it nicely on the bowl. Next, I'm going to go in with the avocado, then beetroot. What a beautiful color! Oh, 
Then we're gonna finish it off with a sprinkle of sesame seeds. Look at this, beautiful. What a beautiful, what a beautiful bowl. I mean, look at this. This bowl is beautiful, isn't it? See if you can see it. so fresh and then you get this soy sauce and sesame seeds ginger marinade next what you can do is you can get some sushi rice piece of tuna beer roots so fresh and light it's just um it's like it's really healthy it's one of those dishes if you like if you like japanese food if you like sushi, um, this is this is the dish for you. You got your raw tuna. You got your sushi rice in a bowl, and then uh, and then a bunch of beautiful and colorful veggies all around it. It's just um so good. Sushi rice is great as well. You can make it. You can make your own sushi rice, or you can buy it at store. And let me know in the comments down below if you like me to make, to show you how to make sushi rice and make sushi as well, or if you fancy any other poke bowl uh, with different ingredients, different fish, different different veggies. There are so many different variations that you can go for. You start off with like a base of um, raw fish. You can choose your tuna, your salmon, your octopus, your scallops. And then you can deviate from there. You can you can select uh, you know whatever veggies you like. All right, guys, we're gonna demolish this bowl now. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, follow me on Instagram at Breakfast Today. And until then, ciao for now.